John Wayne, an iconic figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the film industry with his rugged persona and memorable performances. Whether it's a particular moment from one of his works that resonates with you or a specific film that holds a special place in your heart, Wayne's impact is undeniable. Share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this legendary actor in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. Stay tuned as we delve into some amusing, surprising, and poignant facts about John Wayne. Keep watching for more, there's a lot to uncover. In the golden era of Hollywood, one figure stands out among the rugged landscapes of classic cinema John Wayne. A luminary in the realm of acting, he carved a niche for himself with a persona that transcended mere roles. His significance lies not just in the characters portrayed, but in the mark left on the very essence of the film industry. His prowess as an actor was more than a string of roles, it was a testament to his ability to embody characters that resonated with audiences. Performances were not just glimpses into the world of make-believe, they were windows into the human experience. He brought to life characters that spoke to the challenges, triumphs, and complexities of the times he inhabited. What makes John Wayne worth celebrating is not just the captivating characters portrayed, but the impact on the audience. He wasn't merely an actor, he became a symbol and icon of resilience, strength, and unwavering determination. In a bustling cinematic landscape, he stood tall, leaving an enduring legacy that transcends the boundaries of time. Whether on the dusty trails of the Wild West or the battlefields of war, his presence on the screen was a force to be reckoned with. Performances weren't just about entertainment, they were a reflection of the values and ethos that defined an era. As we delve into the intriguing facets of his career, it's not just about exploring the film's grace, but understanding the impact on shaping the narrative of his time. Join us in this exploration of a person who wasn't just an actor, but a storyteller, a mirror reflecting the aspirations and challenges of an era long past. Stay tuned for more revelations about this cinematic legend. There's a wealth of stories and insights waiting to be uncovered. In comparing John Wayne with his contemporaries of the same era, it's evident that he possessed unique qualities that set him apart. Amidst the golden age of Hollywood, where actors were numerous, he stood out not only for his rugged persona, but for the depth he brought to his characters. His ability to embody roles went beyond the surface, it delved into the very essence of the human experience. Unlike many of his peers, his performances weren't just about showcasing characters, they were about conveying the challenges, triumphs, and complexities of the times. He became a symbol, transcending the boundaries of mere acting to become an icon of resilience, strength, and unwavering determination. While other actors may have excelled in specific genres, his versatility allowed him to seamlessly transition between the dusty trails of the Wild West and the intense battlefields of war. His presence on screen wasn't just a source of entertainment, it was a force that shaped the narrative of his era, reflecting the values and ethos of the time. In essence, John Wayne wasn't just an actor. He was a storyteller, a mirror reflecting the aspirations and challenges of a bygone era. His impact on the audience wasn't confined to the silver screen, it resonated with the collective consciousness of a generation. When comparing him to his peers, it becomes apparent that his contribution went beyond the superficial. He left an indelible mark not just on the film industry, but on the hearts and minds of those who watched him. As we explore the cinematic landscape of his time, it's not just about the films he graced, but understanding the profound impact he had on shaping the narrative of an era. In conclusion, his unique qualities as an actor set him apart from his contemporaries, making him a timeless figure in the annals of Hollywood history. John Wayne's impact extended beyond the silver screen, reaching unexpected heights with his spoken album America, Why I Love Her. Released in 1973, it defied expectations by becoming a surprise bestseller and earning a Grammy nomination. Following the 911 attacks in 2001, the album, reissued on CD, once again soared in sales, underlining its enduring resonance. In January 1974, during a visit to London for appearances on the Glen Campbell Good Time Hour and Parkinson, he faced a serious health setback. Pneumonia struck the 66-year-old actor, exacerbated by his compromised lung. The severity escalated, leading to a damaged heart valve, a condition undetected until March 1978. Emergency open-heart surgery in Boston became imperative. Absent from the 50th Annual Academy Awards in 1978, he received a heartfelt message from Bob Hope expressing the void left in his absence. 
Determined to attend the Oscars in 1979, his resolve strengthened, spurred by Hope's words. Despite stark political differences, he collaborated with Kirk Douglas on three films, showcasing their ability to set aside ideologies for the sake of their craft. His conservative Republican stance clashed with Douglas's liberal Democratic beliefs. Openly critical of Douglas's choices, including playing Vincent Van Gogh in Lust for Life and hiring blacklisted screenwriter Dalton Trumbo for Spartacus, his opinions didn't hinder their professional collaboration. Douglas, acknowledging his professionalism, commended his willingness to work with anyone deemed fit for a role. Politics remained off the table during their joint film ventures. His career, marked by unexpected successes, health challenges, and professional collaborations despite political differences, reflects a man whose legacy transcends the cinematic realm. His impact endures not just through characters on screen, but in the unexpected twists of life he navigated. After witnessing John Wayne's performance in Red River, directed by his rival Howard Hawks, John Ford remarked, I never knew the big son of a gun could act. This acknowledgement highlighted unexpected acting abilities, challenging preconceptions. In 1973, Clint Eastwood proposed a joint Western project with him. However, his response, criticizing Eastwood's revisionist style and the violence in High Plains Drifter, led to a fallout. Eastwood's silence ensued, and the anticipated collaboration never materialized. During a Las Vegas shoot, he confronted Frank Sinatra, whose party noise disturbed his sleep. Despite a bodyguard's warning, his decisive action silenced the disturbance. This incident showcased his no-nonsense approach and ability to handle challenging situations. The actor, renowned for unexpected talents and a candid demeanor, navigated both collaborative opportunities and conflicts in the Hollywood landscape. His impact extended beyond the screen, leaving an enduring legacy in the hearts of those who watched him. John Wayne, known for his rugged persona and iconic film roles, was approached by Mel Brooks for the part of the Waco Kid in Blazing Saddles. In his commentary on the movie, Brooks revealed that Wayne found the script amusing, but deemed it too dirty for his fans to accept. Despite turning down the role, he expressed support for the project, pledging to assist in its realization and being the first in line to watch the finished film. In a health setback on January 12, 1979, he underwent gallbladder surgery, which unexpectedly led to a nine five-hour operation. Cancer in his stomach was discovered, resulting in the removal of his entire stomach. Subsequent examinations on May 2 revealed the cancer had spread to his intestines, Situated on the ninth floor of the UCL, a medical center, he received visits from President Jimmy Carter and a get well card from Queen Elizabeth II. On June 10, he entered a coma, passing away at 35 p.m. the following day. Reflecting on his filmography, Wayne considered the role of Ethan Edwards from The Searchers as his personal favorite. To honor the character, he named his son Ethan after the iconic role, showcasing the deep connection he felt with it.